The funny thing is, I don't actually consider myself an artist, although I consider this edible art. But I think that's what's fun about it, that it's so easy and approachable that anybody can do it. Hi, I'm Lori. I'm also known as the Icing Artist, and I have a YouTube channel where I make amazing desserts. Today I'm really excited to share with you all the fundamentals of cookie decorating. I especially love cookies because I find them to be like little canvases. Literally anything you can imagine, you can create it on a cookie. The first cookie we're going to do in the wedding theme is going to be a heart. Now I've already flooded it with a dusty rose icing and let that dry. And now we're going to go over it with some piping technique. So I'm going to come up. I'm just going to do some hand piping to start off with. and just create a few lines. And you can see I kind of touch the cookie at the beginning of the line, come across the whole line, and then when I'm ending it, I kind of touch it again to finish it off. Now I'm gonna do some piping floral. So for a leaf, I'm just gonna kind of come across that way and just kind of jot out like this on both ends. that. Maybe add one to the end. And do the same thing, kind of coming across the bottom. And this I'm doing all with no piping tip. The majority of what I do, I do with no piping tip because I find that helps the cleanup so much. And you can do everything with the same kind of size. But the next color I'm going to grab does have a piping tip so we can create more texture. So on this bag, I just have a 101 tip, which is just a very small petal tip. And with the fat side kind of down towards the cookie, I'm just gonna pipe a couple ruffles. That's gonna be the back of my flower. And then for the front of my flower, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Ruffle in front of it. Now I can go through, I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery just to the bottom of the flower so it doesn't look like it ends in nowhere. And then I just have a number 16 tip here that's just a really small star that I can go on and add a couple little kind of flower buds. I love this because like, for one, this design is so customizable for any kind of color scheme in an event, but it's so simple and it shows you how you can just really like random shape piping, but it creates cute little flowers. Let's move on to the next one. I was inspired by this stencil that had love right here and I thought that would look really cute on kind of a mason jar look. So I'm going to lay that right on top of my cookie, trying to center it the best I can by eyeballing it. And I'm going to take a stiff consistency of white and then I've got to try to hold it in place. So I'm resting my hand just against the cookie while holding the stencil of my thumb and then I'm just gonna come across the stencil. A little nerve wracking, but it turned out really cute. And if you mess something up, you can really just wipe it off and start again. So don't be scared. Now that that's done, let's add the floral details. So the same way that we did last time, I'm just gonna add some kind of string I thought these would be really cute kind of rustic cookies, so I'm going for that kind of burlap look. And I'm going to come across, almost like pieces of twine. I can see here where my line broke, so I'm just going to come in and just fill that in. And then almost like there was a bow there, I'm just going to do a cute couple little squiggly lines kind of coming down. And then for the top of the mason jar, I could do the lid in a different color, but I wanted to keep everything really clean and white. So I'm just gonna add some of those lines that you would have seen on a lid. In white, and then using the same technique, I can add some cute little florals. Let's start with the greenery. You do have to be careful here because right now I'm piping on top of wet icing. But as long as I'm careful not to bump it, I can just kind of carry on with my design. But of course, if you're making a lot of these ahead of time, 
But you can just do one stage for like, you know, 10 cookies and then kind of come back through and do the next one. So you're not designing each cookie, you're just kind of working systematically. I love that I'm just piping random little blobs here, but they look like leaves. If you're doing a lot of piping, you might notice that your hand starts getting a bit shaky. So does mine. Don't worry, that's completely normal. And you can definitely forgive yourself if you've done a little bit of a mistake or something, you can cover it up. Like if I've got a little line here, I could add a little extra flour or something. Nobody's gonna know. The thing is that I noticed whenever I create desserts, like I'll see all of the mistakes I did, but nobody else sees them. So forgive yourself because nobody cares. Okay, like, how cute is that? Come on. Let's move on to the last one in our wedding theme, which I'm gonna show you a whole different way to ice a cookie. I just take a little bit of stiff white icing. I just brush it across my cookie using a spatula. I wanna make sure I'm kinda of covering up the whole cookie first before I start scraping off more icing to create the texture I'm looking for because I really need it fully covered. Kind of going in all different directions, trying to get a full coat. Now that I have that, I can kind of come through and I just want to scrape off little bit by little bit. And at this point, I'm only going side to side. Because when you ice a cake, that's kind of the direction you'd go in. So that's where you'd see the spatula lines. Just going side to side, scraping off a little bit more icing with each pass. You can see it kind of coming together now. Now with naked cakes, you usually see some of that cake fully coming through. So I'm gonna go even harder and really come through and try to scrape off some. But if I've scraped off a little bit too much, I can just kind of like add it back and play around with it until I've got the exact look that I'm going for. I like that look. You can see how you can get kind of carried away with it and just keep going over it over and over and over again. But really the, the imperfect is perfect. Now to bring into the same theme of the other ones that you've created, we're gonna add on those little floral designs. And what I love about this cookie is you do not need to do that first layer and let it dry and come back. This one, you can just do it all in one go. Same little florals, just kind of going back and forth. I love this for a wedding because this would be perfect for a bridal shower or wedding favors or anything like that. And you can do them with the exact same color scheme or theme around the event, but you can take these same techniques and apply them to any kind of celebration. Random piping. and add on. I'm just making sure because my piping bag's been sitting here, that I'm taking off any kind of crusted royal icing that could be on that tip clogging it up on me. Usually if I'm not doing the cookie right away, if I'm in between things, I'll just wrap a piece of damp paper towel around it so it doesn't dry out. Couple more leaves and it's done. Love how these ones turn out. I love that they're all so different, but they match perfectly together. That they all have like the theme brought into them, but like in a different way with the colors and all the stuff. I really think they're cute. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.